back. Well, the Mediterranean way of eating was recently named the best overall diet for the seventh year in a row by U.S. News and World Report. And our next guest is a registered dietitian who stands so firmly behind this way of eating. She's dedicated an entire cookbook to it. So here to share recipes from everyday Mediterranean is Vanessa Perone. Welcome to the show, Vanessa. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Thank you. Okay, give us an overview. If someone's watching us and they're like, what is the Mediterranean diet all about? What's your answer? So the Mediterranean diet refers to a traditional eating pattern mm -hmm. based on some of the healthiest people ever recorded. We talk about an abundance of plants, so fruit, vegetable, also very high fat, so we're gonna find lots of olive oil, nuts, and seeds, but it also stands firmly on lifestyle principles, meal sharing, physical activity, and cooking and connection. Great, Love and it. as a registered dietitian, tell me, why do you like the Mediterranean diet so much? Why do you recommend it? It stands apart from your run-of-the-mill diet because it is so encompassing with these lifestyle practices, mm -hmm. and so the sustainability is there. We can have something that we vision on, envision ourselves doing long, long term. Okay, okay, and I mean, I'm looking at the picture. So we're obviously talking about geographically the, the countries around the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. We are, however, once you understand the principles of the Mediterranean diet, we could actually steer even clearer from the cuisine and being in Canada, we can apply these principles here. So I you don't that. have mm -hmm. to live there to benefit from this pattern. Okay, so anybody who knows anything about it or if you're just learning it for the first time, one of the main principles is a real uh, plant-centric approach to eating as well. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of vegetarian stuff, not always, but a lot of it, and a lot of um, a garlic as well. So we're mm -hmm. gonna kick off with our first dish, which is the garlicky rapini galette. Yes. Tell us about this dish. All right, so <laughs> this it features a delicious, one of my favorite vegetables, broccoli rob or rapini. And so it's a traditional preparation. Mm -hmm. So we're blanching it first, it's a bitter so blanching it takes care of some of that bitterness. Sauteing it with olive oil, garlic, mm. um, crushed, pepper, uh, crushed red chilies, and then we're crusting it with this beautiful flaky crust. So it's just a beautiful way to showcase an all-star vegetable on the table. Yeah, absolutely. It can still taste the bitterness, but it does taste really good. It's, it buffers it a little bit. I love how Andrea's so classy with a fork, and I'm just all hands. You know what? Like I'm trying not to get myself. I'm always mm. clumsy, so I'm trying not to get myself dirty. Mm. But let's talk about protein diets because everybody seems to be really focused on protein right now. How does the Mediterranean diet, you know, focus on that or work with the protein? So Which diet? the protein in the Mediterranean diet mainly comes from plant-based sources. So lots okay. of beans, lots of legumes, the protein that's naturally found in some whole grains as well. And so we're not avoiding meat or animal-based products entirely, but most of our protein does come from these plant-based sources. Oh, okay, gotcha. The next one covers a lot of bases, excuse me as I talk about milk, <laughs> because there's a lot of dietary restrictions mm. right, that people have. And so if you wanna make something for a larger group, which is communal eating, which is a big part of Mediterranean diet, this one is a fennel and orange salad. Yes, so, so tell this, us about it. So it's naturally gluten-free, vegetarian, and it's just a classic celebration of seasonality, simplicity. So we've got fresh fennel, some bright oranges, oh, sharp good. onions, salty olives. This is great standalone salad. This is also wonderful as a side to something like fish. And it also showcases another cornerstone of the Mediterranean diet, which is olive oil. Mm -hmm. Salads are great ways to showcasing the liquid mm. gold, as we like to call it. Yeah, and let's talk about that liquid gold mm. because all of these recipes include olive oil. So how do we know which olive oil is the right one to use. So part of the Mediterranean diet really is focused on extra virgin olive oil. This okay. is really more of a condiment in that pattern than an actual seasoning or oil. Mm. It's, it's part of the table. You'll find people drizzling, drizzling on, their, on their vegetables. Um, and so I recommend looking for something that is definitely extra virgin, a dark tin or bottle, so that you can protect it from, from light. Okay. Mm. This is amazing. I know, Mel is really I'm enjoying just having over lunch. here. I'm Don't looking worry at her like, me. we got a question, girl. Okay. We have another one. Um, so another uh, main characteristic of the Mediterranean diet is also frequent consumption of fish and seafood. Mm. So you brought ne the next dish, which is the mackerel bucatini with crispy anchovy breadcrumbs. Yes, that's a mouthful, okay. right? Yes. Yes. But so this Looks I, delicious. I love this because it showcases what I consider an overlooked ingredient, which is canned fish, right? Canned fish, high in protein, high in healthy fats, high in vitamin D, but also very, very budget friendly, shelf stable. Mm. And for people who are looking mm. for ways to incorporate it, using a canvas and mm. piggybacking on something people love so much like pasta is just a great way to incorporate that. This is really good. Oh, this is good. delicious. Wonder oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, now I got it. Now my mouth is full. Okay, so one of the great things about this way of eating is that there are no forbidden fruits. So can you talk to us about how sweets, meats, and alcohol, things that we're always told to stay away from, actually fit into this diet. Yes, and so we love that, right? We love when there is no restriction on a diet because it gives it that sustainability that we talked about before. Mm -hmm. And so meat, sweets um, are actually at the top of, of our pyramid. It's something that is present, but mm -hmm. just 
on a weekly basis. Okay. It's not forbidden per se, because back in that traditional way of eating, mm -hmm. it just wasn't accessible, it was very expensive, mm -hmm. and so it just didn't figure on the menu. And so we'll present these sorts of things, things like desserts on a weekly basis at family gatherings and enjoy them. And things like alcohol, red wine, which is part of the traditional diet, mm -hmm. was present in moderation. So think small juice glass and not, you know, big wine glasses. Okay, not the full bit. bottle. Big That's goblets, right. for sure. Yeah. You did point to a dessert, and uh, we love dessert around mm -hmm. here. We do love our sweets. So a flourless chocolate hazelnut and espresso cake. Yes. Tell us about this. So this has nutty hazelnuts for a nice hit of fiber okay. in place of regular flour. Chocolate, of course, so you get that brownie-like consistency. Ooh. And the espresso in here is probably my favorite part because it's such that a natural so pairing good. for the chocolate. But you do taste it. You do get that hit of espresso when you when you taste it as well. Oh my gosh, that is so good. good. Okay, I gotta refocus. Okay, so when possible, you include high fiber alternatives in your in your dessert recipes. Why is fiber so important in this way of eating mm -hmm. as well? Fiber is, I consider it the all-star nutrient of 2024. I would love everybody to focus on this a little bit more because mm. it's important for gut health, for heart health, for promoting mm. uh, blood sugar regularity. And it's just what we think is what makes the, the, the Mediterranean diet so beneficial. Mm. I love that. Okay, this so. has been delicious mm -hmm. and yeah. so informational as well. Vanessa, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, everybody, uh, don't forget, Vanessa's book is called Everyday Mediterranean. And good news, our studio audience, you're going home with your copy today. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.